There's the knot, hey? Yeah. From the hands of a total stranger <laughs> comes a great big grin. Look at that face. <laughs> that. Free massages for all. The result, smiles, laughter, and more smiles. Can we help you? Can we help you? This is the handiwork of the Kindness Crew. Meet Eric, Brad, Chris, and Val, four young men from Victoria dedicated to making people feel good. We generally just want people to be smiling at each other on the street. It's, it's, I mean, it's really basic. The concept is simple. Be spontaneous. And deliver random acts of good old-fashioned kindness, such as a hearty hug or helping hand. That's not eat you. Today, the crew volunteers to help renovate a community daycare. But they started this type of work back in 2002, after Brad's mother died of cancer. I do this because, um, personally, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm not even close to being as kind as my mom was. And so this is my journey to be a kinder person. Just doing our part to help clean up the street. That journey has kept them busy. We are ready to commit random acts of kindness. They have toured North America on more than one occasion. I have a flower for you here today. All the time, doing odd jobs and spreading kindness. Do you have a light? Give her a hug. It's been really exciting for us to see how people are changing. I mean, we're changing, but also communities are changing. They really are coming together under the banner of, of compassion. So, yeah. There was a time when kindness didn't pay. Cash, that is. Not long ago, the young men financed their good deeds by working in restaurants. That's no longer necessary. Let's see the Zen, the perfect hug. Go for it. The kindness crew is now in demand. They speak in schools across the province, have penned two books, and are popular consultants within the corporate world. Our experience in the corporate world has really been that compassion and all sorts of levels in, in companies and businesses is really lacking, and so there is a thirst for it. Getting paid to be nice makes some people question the group's motivation. But before you judge, understand that most of the money raised is funneled back into random acts of kindness, and it also fuels a much bigger goal. Uh, well, we'd certainly like to see kindness crews spreading up all around the world and be facilitating that. Of course, we'd like to be doing tours, uh, again, both nationally and internationally. I'd like for us to hopefully kind of create a grand swell, a movement towards more compassionate acts. Are you going to give me 10 bucks? Yep. Even if it costs a couple bucks to do so, who can argue with a group wanting to make the world a more gentler place to live? A group who simply wants kindness to be contagious. Today is your random act of kindness. My challenge is for everybody that's watching today to commit a simple random act of kindness right now. You know, turn to the person next to you, tell them that you appreciate them, you know, call your mother, uh, you know, give a high five to a random person on the street. Just do something positive and it, it'll make a huge difference. Oh, right I'm just going to put this down. I'm taking my job seriously, by the way. <laughs> Melanie Nagy, CBC News, White Rock.